We'll now talk to British journalist Tom Gross to talk to us further about the latest developments regarding the future of Prime Minister Boris Johnson. Good afternoon, Tom. Thanks for joining the programme. Hello. Now, the Partygate inquiry could be fully completed in the next few days. Some of the Conservative MPs have also increased pressure on Johnson, but will, will he resign as the Prime Minister of the UK, or is it too early to tell? Well, um, we expect the inquiry has actually already been completed and will be handed in in the next few hours to Downing Street. But uh, even more important than the inquiry was the announcement last night by the Metropolitan Police in London that they may uh, open a criminal investigation into this breach of lockdown rules, which obviously it's very serious. I believe it's maybe the first time ever that a sitting British Prime Minister would have had a criminal investigation opened uh, into something. Mm. Um, so on the one hand, it's very serious that he break uh, the rules and the law. On the other hand, a lot of people think this is ridiculous. Um, you know, it's having a bit of cake on his birthday is the latest uh, allegation. Uh, for 10 minutes, they sung happy, his staff sung happy birthday and, we, and uh, gave her some cake, and then he went back to work. And, uh, you know, some people are making jokes of it even. They're saying, uh, take it as a compliment, Boris. You know you've had a good party if the police an hour uh, have been called to it. Um, the most popular newspaper in Britain, the Daily Mail, the headline today is a nation that's lost all sense of proportion. You know, there are lots of serious things going on in the world and these allegations over uh, some parties should not bring down a government in their view. In other people's view, it's very serious. People could not see dying relatives. They could not go to the funerals of relatives who passed away during the coronavirus uh, lockdown under Britain's strict rules. And if Boris has broken the rules, he should not remain as prime minister. Mm -hmm. OK. Now, for many living in the UK, Boris Johnson doesn't possess the moral authority to lead and has been labelled as a national distraction. Now, at this point in time, how badly has Boris Johnson's public support been affected? Well, he's gone down a lot in the opinion polls. To remind people, um, a little over two years ago, he won a landslide election. He is the third consecutive Conservative Party Prime Minister after David Cameron and Theresa May. So it was really a big achievement after the Conservatives have already been in power for so long for him to win a landslide. Uh, since then, the opposition Labour Party have replaced their extremely left-wing, unpopular uh, leader, Jeremy Corbyn, and they now have a better leader who's ahead in the polls to Boris Johnson. Having said that, Boris Johnson is a kind of celebrity politician. He's known, he's widely known by his first name, just called Boris, a little bit like he's a pop star, like Madonna or something. Yeah. And I think that in spite of all these uh, dips in the polls, um, he has the charisma to hang on, and a lot of people would still vote for him in a future election because they want a kind of showman leader, a kind of larger-than-life leader, not the rather dry... Uh, new leader of the, of the Labour Party, Keir Starmer. OK. Now, lastly, Tom, PM Johnson has no credible excuses for the acts that he's committed. He has apologised to the Queen and the British public. But to summarise these recent events, what's your analysis of how things will unfold or are likely to unfold over the coming days? Well, if he should face a leadership challenge and uh, be forced to uh, put, again be put to a vote if he wants to remain prime minister, 54 members of his own party, members of parliament, have to submit letters um, asking for a new leadership election. So far, we understand about 40 of them have. So it's not that far to get to 54. If that's the case, I believe Boris Johnson won't just resign, he will stand again. And I think he will have a chance of being re-elected uh, by his own party, this is, first of all, not a general election, mm -hmm. because he is perceived as a vote winner when the next general election comes around. And I think that, you know, people know what they were getting with Boris Johnson. I don't think most people expect someone to dramatically change their personality midway through their life 
when they uh, become prime minister. Boris Johnson was a well-known figure on television and in the media and so on before he's prime minister. People know that he's not always, let's say, fully frank or truthful. They know that he sort of dodges, uh, um, you know, controversy. You know, he's been married now three times. He's got a lot of different children from different women and so on. People know that he's not, he's not terribly reliable and they voted for him in spite of that because of other qualities he has. So I'm not sure sure that all this controversy around lockdown um, parties and so on is enough to really make people reassess who Boris Johnson is. If, on the other hand, the economy tanks, it, it collapses following the uh, lockdown, following Brexit uh, not being a success and so on, then he will lose an election over a more substantive issue like the failure of Brexit. I don't think he will lose power or election because he had some birthday cake when um, a lot of the British public probably broke lockdown rules here and there to celebrate a birthday. Okay, Tom. Thank you very much for joining NewsHour. It's a pleasure talking to you.